Hello everyone, I am going to talk about essential software testing checklists. Why exactly do we need a checklist? When the software enters into the testing phase, it is always advisable for us to have the list of dependencies, prerequisite and the tasks that are involved so that we can avoid the last minute hassles. QA experts use checklist based testing not just because it is a disciplined approach, but it helps them to proactively identify the risk involved with a higher productivity. Some of the key checklists that are used across are test environment setup, test data checklist, production release certificate, operational readiness testing certificate, etc. How exactly these will help our customers? When we do a checklist based testing, the test completion can be on time with a higher productivity. And when we can group and categorize the checklist based on the specific categories, it will always enable us to derive potential benefits out of it. For example, if we can create checklist based on the domains and technologies like PCI compliance for BFSA domain, regulatory compliance for healthcare domain, it will help us to cater to the uh, specific customer needs. Also, there is an accuracy in identifying the risk. And there's a transparency between the customer stakeholders and the uh, engineering team. Creating checklists are not that complicated. They are easy to create, maintain and use. And it can be used for all types of testings. And when we create a checklist, it actually becomes a guidance for the new joiners into the team, which can enable them to integrate and work easily. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos from Jupyter.